Good morning. Um, as an YouTuber, I don't often do requests, but I've got a pretty direct request from someone here, and I quite like it. Um, I hope you're enjoying the height of the British summertime. Uh, the British summertime is so good that I've had to park my BMW X5 beneath like a shelter to stop the rain bouncing off the windscreen and distorting the camera. A couple of things in this unedited, um, unscripted video. Comment that just came in on Facebook. Jeff, you should be doing a video about you, Les. Every bit of mainstream media since Thursday has been saying the opposition is because people don't like green policies. So this is about the fact that you, Les, is basically being hounded out by the mainstream media and all the people who oppose you, Les, are now being all bunched together as people that don't like green policies. So we hate the planet. Shake them by the shoulders until they understand that ULEZ opposition is nothing to do with green and eco and is all about hypocrisy, money and control. The green, the word green, the concept of green, let's just, let's just spitball this one for a moment because the concept of green, um, well, green's no longer green, is it? Any, anywhere you look. So we've got electric cars running around with green badges on their number plate. And I've proven in I don't know how many videos that electric cars are not green in any way whatsoever. Add to that the fact that uh, yesterday at a hill climb, um, Sebastian Loeb, the rally driver, his electric rally cross car, went up in smoke, taking with it both cars that were in the garage and all of the team's equipment. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. But there's another electric car going up in smoke. So there is nothing green about green anymore. So what we've got with the ULEZ, and um, I've, I've dealt with this one pretty comprehensively already, is we've got a scheme to make cleaner air that doesn't actually make cleaner air. We saw in Glasgow when they introduced the ULEZ, the air got worse after they rolled it out. Then you've got Sadiq Khan wanting to expand that scheme. And you've got other YouTubers like the brown car guy did a fantastic video where he went round with a particulate detector. And he proved that there is no need for the ULEZ and all the bad air is in places like the tube. Then you've got things like, um, Electric buses, which, uh, well, firstly, they catch fire. Secondly, they've been seen in London charging from great diesel generators. So green um, is no longer green. It's about money and it's about control. And, and we know this. But the fact that now the mainstream media are going to start turning around and saying all the people that oppose you, Les, oppose green stuff. Well, no. Um, I'm sat here in a great gas guzzling two ton SUV, right? I'm a planet hater. This car's done 213,000 miles. That means if you replace your car, well, most people lease a car, don't they? Which means they keep it for what, 30,000 miles? So my maths isn't very good, but if I would bought this car brand new and kept it for 200,000 miles, instead of replacing a car every three years, there's a great number of cars that have been kept off the road by the fact that this one was made. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like the saying on the T-shirt and on the mug that I've done. If you want to save the planet, and obviously it's up for debate as to whether or not the planet actually needs saving, but the most environmentally friendly thing to do is to keep your old car for longer. The problem with keeping your old car for longer is nobody makes any money out of that. There's no money for the car manufacturer when you buy a new car. There's no, there's no VAT for the government when you buy that new car. So who, who, who wins if you keep your old car for longer? I mean, sure, the planet, the environment is better off because we haven't mined new materials to get your new car. We haven't had to ship you a new car every three years across the channel or indeed from further afield every three years. You've bought the one, you've kept it for 200,000 miles, 18 years as this car is, and it's still working and running absolutely fine and doing everything that a car should do and you still enjoy it. But sadly, the government doesn't make any money out of me driving this old car. So they have to come up with harebrained schemes to get me to replace my car 
every three years whilst also pretending that by doing that I'm doing a better thing for the planet because my old car is harming the planet. We are 100% um, living in clown world and it's, it's started to get to me. It really has. Um, I don't know what we, like, what more can we do? What more can we do? The ULES, I said about six, six ULES videos ago, I said that I was finished making videos on ULES because I'd realised that um, the ULES was just a scam to introduce road user charging. Now, I've got on my phone here a screenshot of a document that was sent from Grant Shapps, right? Now, let's just clarify who Grant Shapps is. Let's Google him. Grant, stay with me for this video. Well, you don't have to, but it'd be nice if you did. Grant Shapps, right? British politician, Secretary of State for Energy, right? He's Tory, isn't he? So, the reason Sadiq Khan is pushing the ULES through, I kind of wish what WhatsApp group it came in on. Um, the reason he's pushing the ULES through is because of this letter here, which was sent by Grant Shapps, Secretary of State, to Sadiq Khan, basically saying, TfL are bust, and if you push the ULES through, we will give you money. The immediate reintroduction of the London congestion charge, low emission zone and ultra low emission zone and urgently bringing forward proposals to widen the scope and level of these charges in accordance with the relevant legal powers and decision making processes. Grant Shapps, the Secretary for State, told Sadiq Khan that he must expand the ULES. That's on top of the fact that C40 Cities, which I've done a video on, has now had 150,000 views. Sadiq Khan is the chair of C40 Cities. C40 Cities are funded by a whole load of bad actors, including the Clinton Foundation. Now, if you can see who's involved in C40 Cities, and you can see the connections to 15-minute cities and all these bad things that are going on with cameras going up everywhere, and this big brother society that's expanding, and it's all going to be built on the back of digital ID and digital currency, if you can see all that, then me driving my car past a camera because my car pollutes more and now I have to pay. <sighs> the whole thing is connected and it's only ever about money and control. They want to take away um, your powers and your liberties and they want to take away your money. It really is as simple as that. We've got parking spaces being removed left, right and centre, cars being demonised left, right and centre. We've got the electric car movement being pushed despite the fact that it is anything but green so there we go um a bit of a round the houses jeff still got man flu ramble in relation to the message that came in just then on youtube on um facebook asking why i hadn't made a video about it every bit of mainstream media since thursday has been saying the opposition is because people don't like green policies no it's not that we don't like green policies it's that we can see that they are utter bollocks if a green policy comes out and it's obviously beneficial to the planet, then we'll all get behind it. Let's all plant a tree. Let's do something cool like that. Let's make schools better. Let's make roads safer for children. There's like 8 billion, oh, there's 8 billion people on the planet. There's 8 billion different things we could do that we could call green policies that would actually be green and would actually be beneficial for the people. The problem is none of the green policies that are being foisted upon us are beneficial for the people or beneficial for the planet. Green is no longer green. We need a new name for it because like pride, it has been hijacked by people who have an agenda and that agenda is not good for you or me. That's it. I got a cold. I've had man flu for about 10 days now. Um, and call me a conspiracy theorist, but I swear I'm allergic to the stuff that is being sprayed on us. What do you think? Have you been ill? Everyone I know is ill at the moment. Everyone's ill. All the blokes have got man flu. All the women are ill. Is everybody you know ill at the minute? Why is this? Is it maybe because we haven't had much sunlight and sunlight is actually the juice of life? Sunlight literally powers human beings, but we've been told that, you know, the sun comes out, get your kid, put a hat on it, cover it in sun cream, there you go, don't get any sunshine on your skin. And then wonder why everybody's got cancer. Is all of the cancer that we're getting 
from the sunshine that we've had since the beginning of big uh, since the beginning of time or is all of the cancer from all of the chemicals that's in all of the stuff that we keep putting on and in our bodies i think the answer's there isn't it right 10 minutes of me sat in the rain spouting crap i'm ill i'm going for a coffee thanks for watching i genuinely hope you have a great weekend